Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this tutorial on Smart Sound Sonic Fire Pro 5. We're taking a look at Express Track and discovering how we can use it to search for the specific music that we want. For instance, if you've got 2,000 musical clips on your system, finding exactly the right one can sometimes be a challenge. We've already seen that we can use these checkboxes to say, let's take a look at the stuff that's available across the internet and from our own hard drive, or let's just take a look at the stuff that we own. We can say, show me just those stereo files that I've got, or show me just those multi-layer files where I can control the instrumentation. <laughs> we can even take a look at sound effects and see all the different sound effects that are available to us. But in this particular case, let's just take a look at what we have available on our system and explore some of the other search mechanisms that are built into ExpressTrack. For instance, we could search on style. If I just want a breakbeat style, And notice that to audition, all I was doing was double-clicking on the name of the clip. I didn't even have to go down here and click the right pointing arrow. Double-click it. Another thing that we can do is we can go up and look by, say, a keyword. I want to find something which has action in it, or I want to have background, or I want it to be bluesy or brooding. We have all these different keywords that we could click on that that starts to find music based upon a particular feeling. In fact, we could even search based upon intensity. For instance, let's say, show me that which is not too intense, kind of laid back. or something which is very intense. So we have lots of different options. We can also search with what's called a multi-criteria search. For instance, I want to find a keyword. I want it to be bluesy. And I want to have the intensity be, oh, medium intense. The whole goal here is to help you use words to, to zoom in on exactly the right music that you want. So we can search based upon a specific album. So let's take a look at what's on our breakbeat layers here. Or we could take a look at, at something which is on a, a family album or guitar grooves. In other words, we can search by album. We can search by a specific composer. Oh, this is very cool. Watch this. I want to search for everything. So let's go to style and let's go to aces high. And I think this is wonderful, and so I'm going to click the little heart button here and make it a favorite. I just turn it into a favorite by clicking the heart. And then I'm going to make a note that I used this, I used this in my EAA Airplane Documentary. You can even add notes to a clip, but here's the cool part. It's now two months later. And I knew that I used that piece of music somewhere. I used it in my EAA documentary, but what piece of music was it? You go up to here, and you type EAA, and you hit the Enter key. Ta-da! It finds based upon a note. Or, let's go find everything again. I select everything, and I say, don't just look for style. Look for something which has been made a favorite. There's my favorite. Or I can see, take a look at the user notes. I could even find by intensity. The thing I like best about this is that I don't have to understand musical terms, and I don't need to understand how the music is constructed. 
I need to understand the feelings the music generates inside me, and I can search for those feelings. That's what makes all this searching really powerful and very useful. But there is a whole flock of new features inside the version 5 release that I want to talk about next. In the meantime, my name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching.